to a brand new video. I'm super excited today because we're going to be covering how to do bulk uploads into AutoDS for your even dropshipping business. This has never been so easy before. Now, before we continue, make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel community here at eCommerce Century. Make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you check out all our videos. Make sure as well that you leave your questions in the comments. Guys, do not leave here with any possible questions that you may have. Also, go to my Instagram, underscore Christian De Paz. Make sure you follow me there. I also post a lot of content there and mainly in our business page at e-commerce century. Now, let's get into it. If you're already part of the academy, uh, you already know all this stuff. But for those of you guys who are just here trying to learn, trying to get started into e-commerce, I'm going to break this down for you very quick. So, AutoDS is the main automation platform that we use to run our eBay business. And basically what we're going to do right now is that we're going to do a bulk uploads of several products into AutoDS. Now the first thing you need to do a bulk upload is product to upload in bulk. So go to Amazon, find a product that you want to add into AutoDS. And there's going to be a few ways to do this. Uh, if you have the AutoDS helper extension, you can actually import this product from Amazon straight to your AutoDS and get it ready. But I'm gonna be showing you guys a different way. Let's say that you already know how to research for products. You already know how to hire a VA and you already have a VA that's researching for products for you and they're sending you the links over with information, which that's gonna be the end goal for you guys. Either you have a VA doing product research or you're buying uh, products in bulk so that you can list it. And again, when I say this, it does not mean that you're buying the physical products. You're paying someone to give you a list of products, a list of links and any other criteria that you want for the products. And you're going to use those to upload in bulk. So the method that I'm going to show you guys is very simple. First thing you want to do, you want to get a product link on Amazon. You don't need the whole link on top. So you can come here and you can use from HTTP until right about here, okay? So make sure that you're grabbing this ID right here. You don't need the, the slash, so until there. And just copy that. Go to the page where you keep your products, your product list, and just add it there. There we go. Okay, and now once you have all the product links and everything that you need, you're going to grab all your links Uh, I suggest that you don't do more than two or three hundred products at a time uh, just because you want out of the ads to do everything uh, the right way. I'm not saying they're going to mess up, but to keep everything more clean, organized, just do about two to three hundred products every single time. And now just click copy. We're going to copy all those product links. And let's go back to out of the S. Inside your out of the S, you're going to go to drafts. You're going to add you're going to click where it says add products and now it says URLs or IDs. You can also upload a CSV. You can also use the AutoDS Finder, which is the, the tool that we were using on Amazon that I show you guys right here, right? AutoDS imports, but right now you already have the product URL. So all you have to do, come here and you simply paste them. There you go. As simple as that. Now, just make sure that the supplier is Amazon, United States, and click on the advanced options. Just do it as I'm going to do it with you guys right now. If you're just starting out, do not upload variation. Do not allow any Vero items. Capitalized title, always mark that. Allow marketplace sellers. You don't need to check mark this. Allow out of stock variations. Do not check this. Add categories to tax, you don't need that. Out of field brand, yes, just leave it checked. And in case there's not a lot of pictures, you can duplicate the main picture up to 12. Always leave that checked as well. And now, once you have all these settings like this, just click where it says add as draft. So you may not see it right away here uh, loading, but just refresh the page. And after you refresh the page, you're going to see that uh, it's already been uploading. Now you're only setting it up as a draft. Once we have them all gone through, we're gonna do the following. We're gonna go ahead 
and we're gonna list it in our stores. Now, as you can see here, uh, it has gone through 133 products out of 171 that we added as a draft. And what it's doing right now, it's actually putting out all the products that uh, qualify based on the certain qualifications that, that, that we said before, the certain the settings that we said before, and it's gonna mark on red the ones that do not pass the qualifications that we added before, uh, either if they're zeros, if they're out of stock, anything like that, they're gonna mark it out. Alrighty, so as you can see here, out of 171 products that we uploaded in bulk, only 85 qualify based on the certain qualifications that I set. Now, if you want to upload variations uh, once you're already ahead in the game, it's gonna be better for you. You're gonna be uploading uh, way more products at once, but as of right now, do not do that. And again, this is just a sample video. But once you already have products that are, are ready to upload, once they're being drafted already, what you're gonna do, you're gonna click right here, and then you're gonna click where it says select all 86 products or as many products as you have selected. And now I click where it says import all. It's gonna ask you, you're about to import X amount of drafts. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, I'm sure. And now you're gonna see here on top, the process as well that is doing to upload the drafts to your stores. And now they're gonna be actual products listed in your store inside AutoDS and also will be reflected inside your EA store. Now, once the process here is done, that's it. You already have listed a bunch of products literally in a few minutes and they will be listed on your eBay store again as well. Now, this is a simple way for you to grow more as your store grows, as you have already built credibility uh, inside eBay. What you're going to do, you're gonna start listing more products and with more products, you're gonna grow even more. A lot of people ask me, uh, why is my store not selling? Why am I only selling 10, 20, 30K a month? And one of the main reasons that that could be happening for is that you don't have enough products. Like an average store that sells anywhere between 60 to around 80K a month, you gotta have at least 10 to 20,000 products and it takes time for your store to get to that level because eBay has limits on how many products you can list, but you will get there. And this is one of the ways that you can use to list more products as your store grows. I'm sure this information has helped you guys a lot. As always, if you wanna learn more about e-commerce, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, make sure that you can contact me personally on Instagram. A lot of people don't do that, but uh, I do like to get in touch personally with a lot of you guys. So go to my Instagram, underscore Christian the past, go to my business page, e-commerce century, and make sure you reach out with any questions you may have. Either myself or a team member will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, I appreciate all the support. Make sure again that you subscribe to this channel. Check all the videos that we have because we have a lot of free value here. And I'll see you in the next training.